So my research in Vancouver is uh, geared towards two aspects. One is the prevention of obesity in schools, and we have developed a program which is called Healthy Buddies, and which is uh, uh, based on the principle of mentoring, of peer-led education. So this is an elementary school program, and we are asking the older kids, the grade four to seven, to discuss with their teachers, to talk about healthy lifestyles. And then we pair them one-to-one -one with younger children, kindergarten to grade three for the whole school year. And they really are, the, the young ones are really receiving all the information by their older peers, and they really love that. And I feel that uh, the pilot study we have been running has been highly successful, and we are hoping to be able to confirm these results in other uh, settings. And from a more metabolic point of view, my interest is in the regulation of appetite. And there is a hormone that we are all making that's stimulating appetite and which is called ghrelin, G-H-R-E-L-I-N, difficult to pronounce. And this is made by the stomach and it's stimulating, among many other things, appetite. Uh, what's the regulation? What's its importance? And uh, as time goes by, I think we are starting to understand that it might become an interesting target for a pharmacotherapy by modifying uh, the way ghrelin is working, uh, either on its receptor or uh, uh, using specific characteristic of this molecule. So the, the Canadian Obesity Network, I think that Canada is a huge country and with 30 million people, and we need to work together. And I, I really think that this is a, a network that you now comprises of more than 2.5 thousand people across the country. This is really a network that forms a structure on which we can base our future action, whether this is research, whether this is uh, clinical needs, whether this is a uh, um, relationship with lawmakers. And uh, at the pediatric level, we are presently taking a few initiatives, which is um, first trying to establish a research network, at, uh, uh, which is really pan-Canadian. Uh, second, trying to establish also to harmonize the structure among the pediatric obesity centers that we have uh, uh, through the country. And finally, trying to disseminate the findings of the clinical pediatric guidelines also at the national level. And I think that all these three measures are going to be, to, are going to be using the structure of the Canadian Obesity Network. We need a forum. We need a forum where everybody can talk to everybody. And, uh, and this structure uh, uh, might be efficiently achieved by the Canadian Obesity Network. And I think that's where it's uh, uh, going. And uh, there is some work to do, but I think that's where we are going. And yes, we need a relationship not only between the researchers, between the clinicians, but in particular with the, 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 the lawmakers and the decision makers at all levels.